Saudi Arabia is, is a, a, a pillar of stability uh, in, in this region. Um, it's also a, uh, a country that's, that's not only important regionally, but also internationally in the Islamic world. So uh, the stability of the country is going to continue. Uh, the growth of the country is going to, go to, uh, uh, to continue. Again, we have been anticipating developments that we are going through now, and we are working through them. So, so I'm not worried about the future, definitely, of, the, the, of Saudi Arabia. Uh, well, let's get out to Hadley in Riyadh, and a fascinating uh, interview there, Hadley. And, and I guess this issue will just dominate as long as the Saudis appear willing to see this oil price fall, revenue is lower, he's got a job in his hands to manage this economy. That's exactly right, Jeff. And it's interesting, you know, we've had unprecedented access here over the last two weeks. We've been in Jeddah on the west, we've been in Riyadh in the east, and we've been looking at these major infrastructure projects that they've had underway over the last 10 years even, and they're finally uh, starting to bear a bit of fruit. We have the King Abdullah Economic City. That's something that's very interesting with possibly the fourth largest port in the world when it's completed. We also have this major financial center um, that the finance minister is on the board of uh, that's, that's actually um, very close to completion. They're telling me just months away Away. But this is a man who, you know, he's telling me basically he's comfortable with the level of spending that they're um, anticipating right now in terms of their 2015 budget. That's $230 billion with a $39 billion deficit, and he's okay with that. That strategy, of course, does have major critics, Prince Al Walid bin Talal among them. Uh, he's said that it's a dangerous thing to be dipping into reserves right now. Uh, he says called that very dangerous. He's also said, you know, that they ought to be investing their reserves more aggressively. You remember, have to remember they have about 730, 700. $50 billion in reserves. Now, I asked the finance minister about that. I asked about, you know, could you be making more money from these uh, reserves? And he basically said, you know, we need the liquidity. Um, so it's important for us to, to have the liquidity there. And at the same point, he's like, you tell me where we could get 7 to 8% return right now. And of course, this is a really interesting back and forth. Of course, it's all done in a very polite way with a great deal of respect between these two men. Um, but it's quite funny, of course, because they are, in fact, in-laws. So you have a bit of, a, a bit of a disagreement in the family.